What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care, as you're probably realising just now that I'm actually playing Pikmin 2 for the third episode of Pikmin Quickie, which is cool I guess, and if you can tell by the video title, you know the topic of it, which is, do orange Pikmin reappear, or they don't reappear, do, pri do orange Pikmin appear in Pikmin 3? Well, here's your, here's your, here's your, uh, here's the, you get the choice, yes or no, like or dislike, there you go. So, the gameplay of this is going to be in the subterranean complex. So, I don't actually know how long this video is going to be, because normally they're about 17 and a half minutes long, because that's the length of a day, or something like that, like 17 minutes and 28 seconds. Apparently I didn't look it up, whoops. So you might be wondering, why am I going to this cave of all places? Well, if my memory serves right, this place is very explosive. Maybe not this sub-level, but in general it is, and if Orange Pikmin do return, I think that they will be immune to explosive or handle explosives, but I'll come to that later. So, going back to gameplay, I have 20... Okay, I have... Oh, well, well, that's a bad time to show it. I have... Let me just kill this and kill them and poison the blue, save the blue life, and... Wow, yeah, commentating really... Okay, he's gone, never mind. Well, I did have 20 of every Pikmin, and I was going to prove it, but obviously I can't now, because he's dead. And it was his own fault. If you're poisoned, you've got to go towards the captain. Maybe they'll improve that in Pikmin 3, you know, maybe they'll get smarter, but who knows, really. So, basically, because the whole cave's going to be explosive, well, it should be, if I memory served right, and if I'm wrong, then I'll do it again, I guess, then it will easily show Orange Pikmin, because I can't show Orange Pikmin gameplay, because it will be the first time they first time they appear. So, why am I bringing up this topic of Orange Pikmin suddenly, even though I have kind of been mentioning it like for a long time now, but more specifically this started because of the 17th of May Nintendo Direct footage. Because, I never noticed this because if you couldn't tell by the thousands of times I've told you already, I'm colorblind. And I never actually noticed this, but if you look at this video clip here, which I will add in now, you can see that apparently the onion here shows a bit of orange as well as red. So does that mean that orange Pikmin were found and it was just like a very light hint? But then again, it is day one, so what are the chances of finding orange Pikmin on that day anyway? Still, it's a nice hint, plus the logo seems to sort of imply there's something to do with orange gonna happen. So I guess that sort of sparked why I thought this. Also, we also saw the stone wall in the Nintendo Direct footage. Yes, this whole video is just going to be going back to that footage and explaining stuff. And we saw it was a stone wall, which makes me think, maybe if Orange Pikmin do return, then they'll be the ones that handle the explosives. Now, you may also be asking, why have I suddenly thought explosives? Why isn't it... I, I can't actually think. Why isn't it sunset? Yeah, there you go. Sunset's orange, isn't it? I think it is. I don't know. So maybe it's just that they're immune to sunset. Well, I think sunset's always going to be an unavoidable hazard. In Pikmin 2, we had four unavoidable hazards. We had the void, so falling off the edge of the map. I'm going to bring all my Pikmin out here now. Uh, we had bombs, so you know we couldn't really avoid that in uh, Pikmin 2 because we didn't have yellow Pikmin able to wield them. We had crushing, and then we had obviously sunset. And it seems that the new Pikmin, you know, the winged and the rock Pikmin, they seem to be immune to the unavoidable hazards in Pikmin 2, which leads me to believe that since sunset probably won't ever be avoidable, maybe, that's why the orange are explosive if the yellows aren't. So obviously we have the void, which is falling, which is immune to the winged Pikmin, because they have wings, so they can fly. And getting crushed, we've seen from the Nintendo Direct footage and the demo that the, the, the rock Pikmin are immune to that. No one's immune to sunset, and that just leaves bombs. And I don't personally think that yellows will get the bombs back, because they have electricity now, and they're keeping it because we saw the electric gates, which leads me- Oh, I can't catch it. Really? Do I need yellow Pikmin? Oh, okay, I'm gonna get tapped in. So let in that catch So yeah, I honestly do think that Oryx- Wow, are you gonna come down or not? Press the button harder, it will work more effectively. Yeah, it worked! Well, okay, it did, but you know what I mean. I've sort of lost my track of time, so yeah, lost track of time, lost track of thought or anything. I'm talking too fast because I have a long video ahead of me and I've got loads of, I've got like a piece of paper here with notes of things I should say, so I should probably slow myself down and pace myself. 
pad's not gonna last. Now you may have noticed that I'm collecting every enemy because that's just how I play the game. I don't feel like I've completed a sub-level until I've collected all the enemies. And there's no treasures here because it's... I think it's day 63 on this file and you can see I've got more than enough money and quite a few potions so I don't really have treasures to collect and I didn't really want to make a new file to get all the way to this point because it just, I don't know, just couldn't be bothered because obviously I'm, I don't know what comment I was going to make there, it probably wasn't very nice. So yeah, what else is it that's got on this, uh, sheet, 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 ship, sheet, sheet, yeah that's it. <laughs> Uh, someone's gonna rearrange that so I swear, but oh well. So, more Nintendo Direct footage related stuff, or more on the plot of Pikmin 3. On the night that I uploaded the video, I came up with an idea, and obviously I can't tell you until now, which is Saturday, but a lot of you in the comments also mentioned this, most of you in catlocks, said, why possibly Kopai is starving? Well, remember, this is spoilers for Pikmin 2, so watch out. Remember in Pikmin 2, Louis' dark secret, Louis was entrusted to... Okay, was to, live, was to deliver some golden pick pick carrots, but he never did. He ate them and oh my god, they got over. Okay, and he never did and Hogatate came into debt. The question is, where was Louis taking the golden pick pick carrots? Could it be possible that Kopai was already getting to like the beginning stages of their hunger desperation thing and so they actually asked for Hokkatate Fre Freight, which is like delivery system work job place, to actually give them a little bit of food so they can survive for now and hopefully develop later. But then because Louis ate them, they never got it, so their starvation problem got even worse till the events of Pikmin 3. This is also partially why I think that the Kopais won't like the Kopai Irons, won't like the Hokkatations, because in their eyes, because I doubt they got much information, Hokkatate abandoned them and then went off to this planet by themselves to just get more treasure because they're so selfish, which is what it would seem like in their eyes. Maybe they were allies at first, Hokkatate and Kopai, but then they're not anymore because Hokkatate apparently abandoned Kopai. Could Louis have actually caused the entire plotline of Pikmin 1 and 2? Man, this is getting kind of deep, but imagine that. It would it makes so much sense as well, doesn't it? It's just... Yeah. So I personally think that is what happens, but that doesn't really relate to the orange Pikmin, except Pikmin -pik carrots are orange, even though these ones are golden! I forgot there are some traps! Okay, never mind. Overreaction. Oh yes, I forgot! The whole point I went into this case was because it's explosive! So I'm gonna keep the... okay, he didn't split up for it. Oh, he did, alright. they gonna keep... I'm gonna keep the purples away. Because if they touch bomb rocks, I haven't actually tried it myself, but apparently they explode on sight, like, if you attack them, because they have three times damage. So, is that all of them? Yeah, that's 20. Okay, cool. Ugh, this is gonna be so much easier when there's orange Pikmin, if KB can return in the first place. I can't actually, I don't actually know if I think caves will, because there is evidence that there is, and evidence that there's not, so who knows really. So, what else have I got on this piece of paper which tells me notes which I shouldn't really be talking about because it would sort of break the immersion between me and you talking on the spot, which is kind of what Pikmin Creek was about, except not really. Oh, okay. Uh, well, most of it I've already mentioned because I'm sort of good at remembering, I guess. So I guess the name Kopai. Remember in, I believe it was the first video, I mentioned that Hockatate could be named after one of Nintendo's offices called Office Hockatate, but it was spelled with a K instead of a C. It's actually the same thing with Kopai. When um Nintendo was originally uh, When a Nintendo was originally like made and established in 1889, they were a car company, and apparently they were called in some way or another Nintendo Kopai. So yeah, they're referencing themselves again through the names of the planet, which is actually kind of cool. I like references. That's like my favourite thing in games, other than the actual games. Well, depends on the game, I guess. But yeah, I just stopped saying games. It's starting to hurt my lungs somehow. So yeah, it's kind of like the Hogate office. Now what else did I want to mention? I also wanted to mention some mistakes and things that I never pointed out in the Nintendo Direct footage. For example, the mouldy pear, which isn't actually a mouldy pear. You guys told me that it's actually a tangelo. Which I've never heard of before, but I'm really uneducated with food, so I wouldn't in general anyway. But yeah, there you go, that's a... <gasps> what are these Pikmin? They're annoying. Well, not annoying. Wait, wait. 
Someone died. No? Oh, the sound of a captain getting hit. Is that gonna... Jesus. This isn't even that stressful. There's another level later that's really compact and small and it has electricity and anode beetles and careening dirigi bugs. Or is it... Oh, Dirigi... <gasps> no! Oh my god! No! Oh, I've never... Oh, thank god you didn't catch the... Wow, I I really hate bumbling snitch bugs now, and yes, they do sound like a Harry Potter monster now, but I think... Oh my god! We need flying Pikmin now. I've been wanting orange Pikmin to avoid the uh, explosives, but now I just want flying Pikmin to stop them falling off. We lost six Pikmin to falling off, and most of them were me. Oh my god, this is, this is just cruelty. Literally, because Pikmin are dying. Ha <laughs> Humor. Right. Another thing I wanted to point out, well I never did point out, was about the other characters in the Nintendo Direct footage. Sorry, I just hit my controller against the table, which is surprisingly metal. First of all, we have Brittany here, and she's actually trapped behind a crystallised wall, so that's where she landed and she can't get out. And that's also a guessing the day, I'm guessing, the day you get the rock Pikmin, and then you get her out of the crystallised wall, and well, not out of the wall, but you know what I mean, you break the wall to get her out, and rescue her because obviously in the world of Nintendo every girl is a damsel in distress except for Super Princess Peach and Zelda who was Sheik and Samus and everything else, like every other girl I can think of except Daisy. Daisy's just a sports princess, she never shows up for anything else. Right, I'm getting off topic. Also from that footage, well not that exact footage but from the Nintendo Direct footage, yeah we, this is going to be a longer video than normal. I think when um the captain goes down that little black slide of mystery. That's the point where the rock Pikmin are introduced. Maybe it's from underground or something, I don't know, because there was a cave-ish icon there. But this, is this a calm level? Uh, oh, it might be, yeah. Oh no, there was a uh, cannon beetle, but oh well. No, so I think, because if you look at the chart, that's where the uh, rock Pikmin originally starts. So maybe that cave is where rock Pikmin are formed or something? No. What do, I, what do I want here? Let me just let me just think for a minute. I need. Well, I want white Pikmin in general. I will get rid of my blah, 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 blues. I'll get rid of blues. That's fine by me. Don't like blues anyway, except I do. But shh. <coughs> uh, yeah. Another captain I want to talk about was Charlie, because I wondered where would Charlie go if he doesn't have a ship or an onion? Well, he might have his own ship, but I don't know. But he might not have the Pikmin onion because. Alf and Brittany have it. So, what do you think happens? Well, it was just it was suggested to me that yellow Pikmin are light and they can be thrown higher. So maybe like how you how you're introduced to them in Pikmin 2, they climb up a tree to survive sunset. And if Pikmin 3 is going to be as cutscene heavy as I think it will be, I can imagine that being like a humorous cutscene of like ca character C trying to jump up into the tree with the yellow Pikmin before sunset. So you know. Always going to be a little funny little cutscene there. This is my little foreshadowing, so if you ever see that, which you probably will, even though I'll see it first, you'll know that I'm actually psychic and from the future. Yeah, pretty much that's it. Um, speaking of other characters in the Pikmin world, but not actually the uh, the Kopai ones, we have the president. You know how we found his face? Yes, we found his face in the snow. Well, I oh I didn't kill that one yet. Well, well, I think if, well, it wasn't pointed, someone, one of you pointed it out to me, one of the commenters pointed out that there appears to be another, oh, he didn't die, another face if you look slightly to the right, because you can see whis whiskers, yes, you can see whiskers, but no, you can see a moustache, so maybe it has all of the captains, or like the president's wife, or multiple ca uh, presidents, I don't know, who knows really, I mean, Ick, anything could happen. I'm actually surprisingly starting to run out of things to say again. There's still stuff to say, but I've, sto I've spoken so fast that like my whole page full of things to say is sort of running out. But I have other stuff. For example, I'll say what the other comments said if I haven't already. Most of you just said, oh, the fruit thing, that's the onion, the fruit thing, onion, yeah, yeah, because you people don't read. You don't read the video, or well, I don't either, but you don't watch the video before commenting. But oh well, I ain't gonna complain, I found it humorous. Seventh time, but oh well, you know, it was my own fault. Plus, maybe you, I don't know. I'm not gonna insult you for it, I'm not, I'm, I never was, but whatever. Alright, I'm actually I'm gonna get purples for this bit because I don't know why, I just will. My, my fifth of army of the big best survivor, 
said death. <gasps> no! And I can't save that one either because he's right on the edge. Or she. She, yeah. All purples are she's because they look girly. Yeah. Oh, I can't save those ones either. Oh my god, this is nightmarish. So we have... I think we lost quite a few purples. Wow, I'm actually really depressed. Normally if a Pikmin dies, I'm not that bothered, but purples are my favourite, so I don't like them dying. Oh, that's actually really sad. Oh well, it gives me an excuse to slow down! I forgot the cannonball. I bet you all scree- scree! Oh, we got- Well, well wait. <gasps> this is one time when the whistle upgrade's actually bad for me, because you know, it made me whistle too many. Too many. And I think we lost another purple that was just too slow. Shut up. I'm in a... Oh, man, this is... Well, hey, I'm doing bad. I mean, people like me. Yay. Oh, I feel really guilty now, because they're all just like... I hate the sound... Well, obviously I should, but I hate the sound of Pikmin dying, especially when they fall off, because it's like... I don't know, they just like died in vain almost, except sunset is. But you know, normally you're used to the ah, as they get bitten or something, but this one it's like ah, like more of like a like they've given up in life in the last five seconds of their life. Which, you know, whatever, fair enough. So another thing I wanted to mention sort of with the plot line was I thought, like at the beginning of the footage, that maybe the ultimate onion, the, or which I really want to call the coconut, so I will, the ultimate coconut or should I just call it the coconut? I'll, 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 I'll switch between. So the coconut, I thought would be fully ultimate at the beginning of the game, but then for whatever reason it breaks down into all these different sections. And then you guys said, well maybe the alt, the coconut, the alt coconut, the alt coconut, co 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 it, uh, maybe that's actually what crashes with Alf, Brittany and Charlie, like, high up in space and they both crash down. Someone also suggested that it crashed with Olimar, which might be how he appears in Pikmin 3, but who knows with that one? That makes sense actually, because they don't really have an excuse to go back except to see the Pikmin, and that's probably not going to happen in the world of Pikmin because apparently the Hokutai shines are selfish nowadays, but hey, you never know, so you know, maybe they, yeah, maybe Alf and Brittany just crash twice, and, and Charlie, don't forget Charlie. Oh man, Charlie, that's just... That name, I don't know why I like it. I think it's because, I don't know, just the name Charlie just sort of resonates with me. I'm not sure if it's in the good way resonates with me, but it resonates with me. Have I said resonates with me enough? I don't think I have said that resonates with me enough, so yeah. More Pikmin stuff, which you would expect me to say, is the release dates. I'm sure you've heard by now that your, your release date, I say this as if everyone who's watching this is American, which the most of you are, but you get it on August the 4th. Europeans get it on July 26th, as I said before, and Australia, yeah, them who usually get games like months later, get it one day after Europeans, so they get it on the 27th of July, I think. So, as much as it's sort of, I'm sorry, I kind of find it slightly humorous that you Americans, I, I make it sound like I'm against you, but obviously I'm not, I'm going to kill the blues again though. You are outdated Pikmin wise to Australians. Just thought I'd point it out. I just realised I picked the white Pikmin manually when I can literally just go fail me. But oh well. So yeah, just thought I'd rub that in your faces because you always get everything first and I'm always jealous. But hey, you know, I'm not that hateful. Although you guys, some of you guys will probably will be like, oh I hate you now, you insulted my family. nowadays. Oh, mew, something else, oh, yes, that's it, something else someone else pointed out, something else, something else, something else, something else, oh wait, this is just a normal floor, I'll just go down then, is plants and the logic of biology. I know, very interesting, isn't it? Could, well surely, this is really bad Nintendo logic on Nintendo's part, but plants make oxygen, and if the Kapayans want to take the plants back to their planet, Aren't they all going to die because of the ex the oxygen? And actually, that's a really interestingly good point. But obviously it could be Nintendo logic, or it could be that Kapai Irons are immune to oxygen. Or, or like poisoning, maybe. Oh man, this is really awkward now. With this extra whistle bonus. There you go. Right. Wait. What? What? What, what happened? I don't... 
Was there an explosive? Someone fell off. Is did it, any survivors? No. One more. Okay. Yeah, you got to use white Pikmin here to get past all the explosives because this is just like taking the mick out of everything you've ever believed in. But yeah, the volatile dweeble, was that what it was that killed? Oh my god. Yeah, if you actually, if you do this and zoom right out, you can see where all the traps are. See? And you don't have to panic that much, except you still will, but... There's no killable enemies here, are there? I didn't think there were. Wait! Oh yeah, I was gonna say, why have I got 29 Pikmin? I only chose 20 of each, but then, duh! The, uh... The, oh, I can't remember the colour of the candy pop bar. I want to say violet, but that's obviously purples. It's... Oh, it's... Uh... Can't think of it, sorry. Don't comment what it is, because I'll find out in the future. <laughs> there you go, there's the word of it. There you go, so whatever it was called. Wait, 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 ivory! Ivory, I got it, I got it. Yeah, don't even need to say it. <laughs> yeah, I feel a genius. So anyway, yeah, could Copayans be immune to oxygen poisoning? And if so, then why do they have a helmet? Well, I expect that's just for the fashion, you know? If you go to another... If you go to the moon and you don't need to wear a spacesuit, you probably actually wouldn't wear a spacesuit, but wow, really? Poison and anode beetles. This is harsh. All the other times I've gone down here to like grind up some white Pikmin, it's always been a really tiny map and you could just, oh no. Okay, purples. Purples would be good for this. Stun him. There you go. I plan things. Not very often actually, but you know. <laughs> What else is it I want to mention at the very bottom of my list? Uh... <laughs> sneeze, yeah. <laughs> oh, that pretty sounded horrible. Wow, we've only just started damage. it! More Pikmin die by falling off the map than actually... get the 25 Pikmin now, because everyone else died. We're gonna get them, we're gonna run away, except not really run away, we're gonna get out of here. Why have I still gone away? I don't know. Why am I talking in this voice? What voice is this even? I don't know, but there we go. Right. I pretty much have run out of things to say, but now I can go back on the topic of orange Pikmin. Oh, I brought them! Why are there reds? How have I not noticed reds? Well, yeah, because even though I am colorblind, I can tell what color Pikmin they are because they're so diverse. But, uh, one of the very few problems with Pikmin 2, they bunch up way too close together. I collected every blue Pikmin when I wanted the yellows. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, wow. I, uh, no. I was going to say, did I get it flawlessly with no other Pikmin? But then at the very last minute, I get white. And is that a red in there as well? No. Okay, just checking. <clears throat> so obviously you got to say yes or no to what you think happens to the. Oh, could I get? Oh yeah, I got him. Could I get him to suicide? But then it will probably kill one of my Pikmin as well. I want to try it. I mean, we've lost enough Pikmin to. Is no, that's, that's, that wasn't gonna work anyway because they're in the way. Mm, give me a minute. I'll just do it in a minute. Come on. Miniature explosive, and you're dead! Bye! Yeah, that worked. And I'm not actually guilty for that one because I've already lost. Wow, we have 77 Pikmin. I'm never this bad. Well, I guess it's because I'm recording, isn't it? So I'm sort of half focused anyway. Like, I never noticed the red Pikmin, so I'll be screaming at that when I'm editing. Which is actually going to take minimum time, but hey, you know, whatever. So, what else have I got on here? I have. Um, Oh yeah, the onions themselves, because I haven't mentioned the onions enough apparently. Uh, so, right, so we saw the onion, like, I think three times in the Nintendo Direct footage, and from that, we can actually see a little Nintendo subtle mechanic that they've added, which I think is actually really cool. I can't use them yet. Or can I? Yeah, I can. Okay. Alright, there we go. And, basically, from the three shots we see, the onion actually changes shape. Well, changes its swelling. If you look on the first... Really? You guys are just attached through the ribs or something? I don't know. On the first, like, on day one when we see the onion, you can see that it's pretty normal and small. 
It's pretty red, although apparently there's orange in there as well, hinting orange Pikmin, but hey, who knows, that's sort of what sparked the whole topic of this video, but anyway, whistle! Jesus, my B button's not working apparently. We also saw that it was quite small, but then later on, we see the orange, the, the, the uh, onion, the coconut, and it's bigger. It seems as though the more Pikmin you swell, the more Pikmin you store into the... That was a fail, Pikmin. It's like, I'm gonna knock you down! Doesn't touch and just runs away again. But... Oh, I'm losing my train of thought. Careening Dirigi Bugs. Or is it Dirigi Bugs? I really want to know that. I want to call them Careening Dirigi Bugs! Oh my god, he didn't die, but now he will because he's... Tactics, he didn't die, yeah. Okay, I'm not getting anywhere near this guy. What was I trying to say? Oh yeah, so like, the onions seem to swell, the more... Seriously! <sighs> the onions seem to swell, the more Pikmin you store into it. So I wonder if there's a limit. Though obviously you could probably only get like 9,000... Okay, I'm not going to get near this guy, am I? You can only get 9,999 Pikmin, so I wonder how big that will look. Because maybe it's like... I don't know. Maybe it's just my weird thing, feet thinking. Maybe the legs will start bending the more because it's heavier, obviously. Or even get to the point where it falls down, which I highly, highly doubt. But, you know, it'd be cool. it's a cool little subtle thing that Nintendo sort of added. It's like a little cool bit thing that they do. Yep, I'm just flat out taking out the title names. Isn't that... What's that? Did you just go like, whee, and like, like act as if he was on the floor, but no, I just apparently wasn't paying attention. Whatever, that's just life in general. Okay, so, that's, was that all I was going to say? Yeah, the onions seem to swell. I added this on the Pikmin Wiki, I'm not sure if they've taken it down yet, but they probably will, because they won't be leaving out of So yeah, Pikmin Wiki stuff, actually. When the game comes out, because obviously I'll be getting it before most of you, in fact, probably, if not, if you are getting it before me, then you're getting it at the same time as me, unless you get it the day before release or something, which is really cool for you, but not for me, but oh well. <gasps> what was I trying to say? Well, basically, yeah, I'm going to, you guys want to see me do a blind LP, I'm not going to do that, but I will be releasing, like, my gameplay blind of, like, the first thing ever on the, uh, game. But I won't add commentary, so you, it won't really seem that important, so if you just want to, wait, did he suicide or did he just disappear? I, I can't tell, I wasn't looking. Is there any ghost death? No? Well, if he died, then that's cool. And if he just disappeared, then... Whoops. Right, I'm going to collect all the enemies now before I take out that caustic weevil, I think that was. I can't tell. But yeah, I'm going to add, like, gameplay so you can see what the game looks like. If you... But then be warned, there will be spoilers and whatever. But the main reason I'm doing it is for the wiki, because most of the people there are American, and they're not going to get the game until whenever. They'll probably, like, try and translate the Japanese game, but I personally won't. Because also, with me, they can sort of ask, like, questions like, Oh, what happens if you throw a rock Pikmin in the water? Does it drown, or does it sink instantly, or whatever, you know, just things like that. And then they'll be able to add it to the wiki here instead of me doing it all by myself. Just remember, if you're watching this wiki people, wiki are people, remember to realise that it's the PAL version, so it, it might not be set in stone if, like, the treasures are different for when you get the game, just warning you. Though you probably can tell that already, but yeah. <sighs> God, that was a mouthful. I talk way too quickly. I'm not actually sure. This might be the last sub-level, but this might have nine sub-levels, and I've gone over everything I want to say. So I'll just develop it, I guess, yeah. So if you want to see my gameplay, then very interesting. I'll probably look on the wiki, actually. I'll, like, when I start uploading it, I'll tell the wiki. I'll be like, oh, if you want some gameplay stuff. Okay, I'll but, you know, you'll see, like, I'll eventually somewhere in there link it. Wow, this is a long video. You lucky people. And me on I don't know. I'm surprised I'm talking for half an hour. I'm actually enjoying this, and it feels really quick. It feels like, like, five minutes, but, yeah. So if you want to see gameplay of me, you can see it, but it won't be very interesting, it's just seeing the beginning of the game, but that might ruin it for when you play the game. We have many more sub-levels to go. Oh, yeah. oh. Gatling Groin. Well, I will get rid of the purples again. Oh boy. So yeah. As for blind LPing, I'm sure you can you can tell by all this time I've mentioned it. I won't be doing that. That being said, nah, I'll just leave it at that to teach you all about blind LP plans. Okay, right. We want. Don't. No. Wait. No. Oh my god. I've never like 
seen that many ghost deaths when I haven't done it on purpose. Like, that hazard video that was, like, happening everywhere. That was normal. That was amazing. We had, like, all... You just see, like, a ring of yellow ghosts. Oh, man, I'm bad at this game. I need to practice for when I LP. Spoilers, there's going to be two LP eventually. Just not so... Oh, yeah. Gatling Groinks, they get their life back. So, hurry up. I bet I don't even have 10 Pikmin to carry it, do I? That's just a kick in the teeth, isn't it? Oh my... Nine! Nine! Really? Well, I'm sure they can... I'm sure these guys can carry it and get up there. If not, I'll do that purple pick and glitch. But they... Yeah. How was I strong? How, how did I think that wouldn't? Really? Don't you dare come over here, secondary grattling, gra grattling groink. Good, they didn't. Alright, that's nice. I think I'll play as the president for now. Spoilers, president's in this game because Olam's getting a bit battered. Not much, but you know, a little bit. So what else have I got to mention? I haven't actually. I've mentioned everything and I didn't think I'd talk for this long. I didn't think this cave was this long really actually, even though it only feels like five minutes, but... Man, that's how my time disappears so quickly. When you play Pikmin, it's quite a big game actually, considering this has only taken half an hour. You know what? I'm just... <sighs> Yeah, that was a horrible impression of perfect. Uh, my up, up on the D-pad is actually really like, what's it, like, unsensitive, so a lot of the times, especially with bowl bears, oh my god, they, um, it just doesn't do it, and I'm like, do it, why are you doing it, and I die, well, obviously I don't die, I get bitten a couple times and then all my Pikmin die, but that's the same thing, why, yeah, wow, really, thank you, took your time. There you go, right, that's all fine. Sorry, I went silent, which is like the worst. Wait, I left that Gatling Groink, I need to... Wait, wait, I I heard... Jesus, why do these Pikmin want to be like, Oh, what is this? I'll touch it! Oh yeah, I don't need to collect that one because I exploded it. Insert joke there. Ah, it's always insert joke here. This always looks like a toilet to me. Is, am I the only one? Or a face, I guess. But it looks like a toilet lid or something. I don't know. Can you just... You know, in fact, what's, what's on the, what's on the, what's on the, huh? What's on the? It's... Okay, so it's like, um... It just goes down to the bot. Well, apparently no one's used it, because otherwise there'd be marks there. And if you couldn't tell, because some people actually couldn't from the last ep quickie video... I'm playing the GameCube version! That's why this goes perfect. I think there's like five setups for the Pikmin 3, how to play it, and I'll probably just... I'll use a bit of everything, but I expect I'll just stick to the gamepad as a GameCube controller format, because that's what I'm used to. I did have Pikmin 1? What am I been Pikmin 2? I had one of the Pikmins on a Wii Remote Motion Plus Play version, but where have I got to go now? I guess the cave entrance again. But I just, I, I don't know, I think, no, what I did was I traded it, because this is what I do after I get, when I finish a game, I trade it for another game, and then I don't have to spend so much money. I know, that means I've lost all my childhood games, including including Luigi's Mansion, which I traded seven times, or eight, and then bought them again. Yeah, I know. And I'm going to probably do that again over the summer, but going off topic again. But that's just... I just traded games, and I did have the Wii version. I got rid of all my Wii games, because I got rid of my Wii in general, but thank God I've got a Wii U now, because I can play Wii games. This was the stupidly small map. No, it wasn't. I was thinking... Yeah! These Queen Candy Pop Bubs, they will save my... Yeah! God, that was strange, right. Uh, wow, 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 wow. wow, really? Eight? Eight blues and nine reds. Yeah, we're getting uh, nine yellows. Um, right, there we go. I'm gonna put you. You're a yellow. I'm gonna put you in the yellow one. Oh, it did change just in time. I'm gonna put you in the blue one. That's gonna turn red. Oh, thank God it didn't. Da 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 da, we're on an adventure. Pile of candy pop buds. Oh, is that it? Oh. We don't need more purple Pikmin. As much as I'd love to grow the big art, big Bessie army bed, bed. As long as I'd love to grow the big army, the bit. No. As long as I forgot what I was gonna say now. As much as I'd love to grow the big Bessie army bigger, larger to a greater amount, I would rather not because we need blues and yellows because I apparently am killing them all. That's something else, or this is not, it's kind of unrelated, but something I'd love to do in Pikmin 3. You know how you could shake the nunchuck and you can charge your enemies? I'm definitely going to make it a thing where, you know how I attack enemies with 100 purple Pikmin and I call them the Big Bessie Army? 
Well, I think I'm at... Oh, I know why I need purples. It's for the next... No, wait, let me just check. Where should we... Let's see. Yes, okay, I'm going to just keep them anyway. No, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get 100 rock Pikmin. Yeah, I know. And I'm actually going... Yeah, you're going to see me beat the boss of this map as well, so very interesting. No, but I'm going to actually get 100 rock Pikmin to just smash into, like, a dwarf Bulbeer or something. Because you can see that they bounce off, so it would look really cool. Like, you're just bullying people by throwing rocks at them. It's going to be so cool. So, going back to the topic of orange Pikmin... What do you think they do? Because you can like and dislike to say yes or no to if they return. Final floor. But you need to find something to hide behind as well. <gasps> so out of breath, my lungs are hurting, but oh well. I think they're going to be explosive proof, and I think they're going to be ones that handle the bomb rocks. They're certainly returning. We've seen that from the stone wall. At least I'm pretty sure it's the bomb rocks. I'm going to use purple Pikmin and red Pikmin, because they do the most damage. I'm going to get Shachu to... Hide behind here. This is the best thing you can use to hide, even though they're all just as good, but... Alright. I'm gonna actually focus... Actually, I'm winter. I want... I winter. I... It's not very effective. Oh no! It did very little effect! Why won't you throw any more, Olimar? Duh! da 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 Oh, I have a relief purple. Yeah, that's nice to say. You know, I'm not really going to be able to do much commentating here, so I guess I'll just sort of act as if I'm ending the video, but not really. So, what do you, the viewer, yes you, I'm not just speaking to you specifically, not in general, what do you think about this whole thing? Will Orange Pikmin return, yes or no? You can answer with likes and dislikes, because I'm interactive, and you can say more detail shooting. And you can see more details through the comments. What do you think they do? Where do they appear? If not, what will replace them? What does the Pikmin logo imply to you? Oh my god, these Pikmin are spread everywhere. No! Well, we're losing some. We are losing some, but not the purple, because I don't want the purple to go. I'm so oh, we can distract him! We distract him! We don't know where to shit. What? Wow! I'm not sure, actually. Did we use Pikmin for that? I don't think we did. And that makes me a pro, because... I have 82 Pikmin at the end after using two Queen Pot Bat Pikmin. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way! Run, Purple Leaf! Run! Yeah, see, look, that's, that's actually really good. He can actually distract you. The, the president. What's his name? Is it Satcho? Because I swear that's like Japanese for head of company. Or something. Oh, I don't know. Wow, you're not giving me time to sh kill you, are you? <sighs> Yeah, wow, this is a really long video, 37 minutes, or 38 minutes actually, so yeah, so much for Pikmin Quickie, but yeah, well I've got, actually, I've got some, I've got like a week off until my exams start again, I have four left, so they're all pretty much over, and can I just say, I really hate the exam tables, they just squeak everywhere, but then I, yeah, he's gone, he drops nothing for us, but yeah, ugh, what am I trying to say, I don't remember, real life, I can't. Actually, I don't remember any of my exams. That's just how I am. I'm like in the zone that I forget how it went. But oh well. So with that, we actually ended this uh, subterranean complex, I believe it was called. Yeah, there you go. I'm never going to remember that name. And it was very explosive filled and we lost quite a few Pikmin. But hey, that makes for good gameplay, right? So, what do orange... Do orange repeat... Let me try that again. <clears throat> Run back. Do orange Pikmin appear in Pikmin 3? If so, how? Answer yes for liking or like or dislike for... <laughs> I can't say this. Let's go back again. Do Orange Pikmin... A re Do Orange Pikmin appear in Pikmin 3? Yes or no? Like for yes. Dislike for no. Hey, you can even comment to say why they appear or how they appear or what they do. Are they explosive proof or do they just carry bomb rocks? Or both or neither? Well... I look forward to seeing your comments, and I guess I just have to send it with, end it with my normal outro. So, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.